pre. <laughs> now it's oh, I know. <laughs> oh boy, do I miss that dump. <laughs> Oh, and you could take such risks with the uh, mending clothing or altering clothing because, you know, it was all free. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's still thrift stores. So we still have that. So I'm going to show you some um, some ideas. And you say you're not handy, but I think for me anyway, it helps to see what other people are doing um, and, and get some ideas. And a, a couple of the things actually that I'm going to show tonight um, are completely uh sewing machine needle sewing free you could do just with um scissors so um let me just up i'll show you the slideshow screen all right grace can you see my screen no oh you can't no, I, I see. Let me try gallery. Maybe that that might be a different. I think you just need to turn your camera on, Kellen. There you go. Oh, I need to. Can you see it now? Yeah. No, <laughs> I I just see um the 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 you know the uh, the library. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh. Oh, go ahead, Daniel. So Grace. Yeah. You're you're going to um. Where's the best I, place? I, so on I, the I, view button up in the top right, click on that. Well, I, I'm on gallery. Do right. I... So go to speaker view. Hold on. Um, let's see, switch to active speaker. Right. Okay. And all I see is, is the building, that's it. Now you talk, Kellen. Oh, can, can you see um, my my screen, Grace? No, I just see a um, a blank a black screen with a you know an image of a person you know the cartoon image of a person. So it's uh, oh, whatever. can you toggle through? Can you go to different screens, maybe? I no, I mean I don't I don't see. I I I can only get either gallery view or the speaker view. And when I do gallery view, what do I see? I see myself, I see the building and I see, um, you know, I don't see your face, but I see um, a blank screen, a black screen with the uh, person avatar. So whatever slideshow you have, it's not transmitting onto the, uh, onto the Zoom meeting. Ah, but Daniel says he's saying it. So, um, Grace, can you touch the square that has the avatar? Like, yeah, just I'm touch touching it. it, and it says chat pin hide non-video participants. Push, touch the pin. Okay. And now, I Kellen, don't... try turning on your camera again. There, I see, I see you. I don't see. Start recording that. You see Callan, correct, Grace? Right, right. Okay, we're good then. You okay. All right, well. And I'm recording, Callan. Oh, I didn't mean to record. I'm doing screen screen sharing. Okay. Now I think I kind of screwed it up. Screen recording, stop screen recording, stop. Huh. Okay, sorry. But you can't see my screen? No. Uh Try your camera again where you just were. And then at the bottom, do you see the green share screen? I have share content. And then it says screen. And 
but then it says camera roll, zoom, meet, start recording. Yeah, no. Do you, um, what's the option next to the chat option to the right? Next to the chat? Yeah, at the bottom of your toolbar, the toolbar at the bottom of the screen. Are you on a desktop or a- um, On an iPad. Phone, okay. Do, 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 do. So I have chat, raise hand, chat, meeting settings, minimize meeting, disconnect audio. You may not be able to share a screen on that iPhone. Hmm. Or it's an iPad. Um, I have before, but this is kind of an older one. Let me try one more time, and if that doesn't work, then. Okay. I'm fascinated by Zoom, so I, I don't mind this at all. We're all learning <laughs> something. I'm glad I'm the only one who showed up. <laughs> all right. Is anything happening? If I do this, can you see my screen? No. Nope. No. Well, that's a bummer. I'm trying to think. Okay, well. What what is your um hang tight with me real quick? What does your option say again when you you just have share content, right? It doesn't say share screen. I have share content and then it has screen, photos, iCloud, Dropbox, Microsoft, Google Drive, Box, mm -hmm. website URL. Oh, okay. I see what it's doing. Where is the content that you're trying to share on it's the... on Google um slides and an app. Okay. Okay, so in that list you just read, where's the Google option? Are your it's Gmail? Okay, try touching Google Drive. Okay, but it's its own app. Oh. Uh, iPod. Hmm. When you when you touch Google Drive on that list, it, it won't. They won't navigate to that app. Well, let's see. It says connect to Google Drive, connect. Oh, no. Hmm. No. Well, it's making me sign into Zoom. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't work. Uh, sorry, usually I'm pretty savvy with this. Um, I haven't run into it's this. It's a really before. old iPad. It's like it's like this big. <laughs> oh, okay. But I have an iPad, and I see the same options you have. I don't see anything more. So maybe. Well, it's funny because when I did screen before on my other iPad, I was able to share what I had shared a video. Yeah, it should be really straightforward. Um, is it a, um, so you said it's a Google Doc? It's a Google Drive. I mean, I might be able to send it to you. Yeah, we can try that. If you guys are all willing to try this. What's up? You can try, yeah. Yeah, come. But I think I feel like I tried everything. What's up? Oh, that would be helpful, yeah. So what are you trying to screen share? Yeah, I'm trying to screen share. For some reason on your iPod, it's not sharing. Probably because on that iPad, you can have two applications on at the same time. Okay, so if you have your computer, that would be awesome. Okay, we're getting another computer. <laughs> okay. Grace, you're being very patient. <laughs> oh, this is cycling and altering ideas. Again, you know, we're not going to go through, do all of these, but to give you some ideas. But the really great thing about t shirts is. Let's try sliding. Try sliding. Okay, the great thing about t shirts is if you cut t shirts, 
um, they curl, especially if you wash them and you can see on her um, sleeve and her neckline, right? You don't have to hem them if you cut uh, t-shirts to make this nice little curl. So um, that's one thing that we, is nice about working with t-shirts. Here again, you can see the neckline. We, she's just cut off, you know, that part of the t-shirt that looks like, um, you know, like this, the ribbing around the top. If you just cut that off and kind of stretch it, you get this nice kind of, um, it's rough, but it's rolled a little softer than the store-bought neckline. And so you can use the fact that t-shirts are stretchy and that t-shirts roll to your advantage when you're doing things in, in, um, in altering. So these two examples here, the one on the left with the stripes, um, you know, with the ropes, that's all t-shirts just cut in little slits and then stretched really, um, really far. And it gives this kind of ropey effect. Again, no sewing is used in that, um, but just taking advantage of the fact that the t-shirt curls and that it's really stretchy. And then the one on the right, it obviously requires some sewing, but it looks like they've just taken a strip of t-shirt, made a bunch of slits and then washed it. And when it washes, it does that nice little curly cue. So these are just some examples of the properties of how t-shirts can, you know, you can really use it to, to create new designs. Here's another example of someone who's taken a shirt and then taken a, like a long strip of t-shirt and then just tied a knot around the tank top and using the curly bits and the fact that the t-shirt doesn't unravel to, to their advantage. And this, we're not doing this obviously today. <laughs> uh, these are very intricate. This is from one of my favorite designers called um, Zero Waste Daniel. And what he does is he actually collects uh, scraps from fashion houses and then he puts together t-shirts. So he almost sort of quilts them, but he does it in this very stylish new way. Um, the ones on the left are all the sort of colorful. And then he does this thing, the ones on the right, I think that's supposed to be Prince. He did a David Bowie one, you know, where they're um, collages uh, with the t-shirts. So, you know, I've never done anything that intricate, but it's nice to get ideas. You could also just do like a big heart you know, or a circle or even letters, something really simple where you're sewing t-shirts onto other t-shirts. So I just wanted to show that for inspiration. You can also sew pockets onto your t-shirts. Um, you can use um, cotton um, that you might find like on a, a button up dress shirt or on a pillowcase and make a little square or a little square a point at the bottom to make a pocket just to add a little pop of color. Um, you can see in the second example, there's a pop of color and then a little bit underneath the, the arm, the rolled up part of the arm. And then the man on the um, far right, someone has pieced together a couple different t-shirts and a pocket. So there's all sorts of things you can do to make your old t-shirt new. Um, these I love because these don't take any um, sewing and these are just cutouts. And if you are interested in this and you search the internet, people have done just some amazing, amazing things. I've seen butterflies on people's backs, um, dragons, just from different designs from cutting. And again, you know, if you cut and you kind of pull, you get the drapey effect of the woman on the left there. And then of course the woman on the right, her shirt is a heart and she's made slits around the heart and kind of stretched them. So, I mean, I imagine you'd wear that over another shirt, but it's just, it's a really a, a fun, fun uh, embellishment to be able to do. Here's, here's the example again of the, the stretched t-shirt. And the reason I wanted to show this is um, because we're gonna look at some weaving and macrame. And this is um, sort of the beginning of that. So um, weaving, the one on the left is, there is this designer named Ed Hardy that was really, I don't know if you've heard of him. He was really popular in the um, 90s, I believe. It's kind of skateboard fashion. And he did this woven um, design. His t-shirts have this woven design. Um, and it looks, if you make the slits nice and you really stretch it, it looks really professional and complicated, but it's really simple to do. So we're actually gonna, Ben's gonna come down and he's gonna model and I'm gonna show you how to do that because it's so easy. 
And then the one on the right is macrame. Um, and that's also super easy and has a really a nice look. And you wouldn't, you know, all these things you can alter and do however you'd like. This one is pretty high up. I don't know that I'd wear a shirt, you know, with that much exposed, but you could just do a little fringe along the bottom. You know, this is just showing you the idea. And I think, I think that's it. This is from um, this one. So I'm gonna stop. Oh, I think I stopped sharing. Yeah, it's you're 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 fine. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're you're yeah. All right, Grace. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do the macrame. Okay. Then we just want to sit over here. Let's see if I can. Can you see Ben? Yep, yep. <laughs> He's our model today. So, and can you, if you do speaker view, you can get a bigger screen and see. I have it on speaker uh, view. It looks oh, great. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, I've cut, I've taken a t-shirt and I folded it in half this way, long way, right? And down that spine of the t-shirt, I've made lots of little slits, right? I've just cut right. lots of little slits and you can do them. I've only done this far across. You can do really far across or you can do them close together. But so these are just, they just look kind of like um, noodles, right? They don't look like that interesting stretch that we saw before. And that's what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it like this. See how it's starting to look more like that picture that we saw? Exactly. It really has this nice look. And some people like we saw in the picture just like it like that, you know? But we're gonna do some um, weaving. And you're gonna, I should have done this up higher. You're gonna have to bend over a second. So all you do, oh, there you go. Can you still see? Okay. Yep, yep, it's fine. I'll let you know if I can't see. <laughs> okay, you take the top one, you put it um, underneath the second one. Oops, sorry, I'm doing it backwards. You put it over this one. Mm -hmm. And then you just getting down. Right. Right. So that makes sense. We took this top one, put it over the second one. That second one became our top one. You put that over the next one. Took this one, put exactly. it over. The and we just keep doing that all the way down. See, it's starting to get that kind of braided look. Ah, I see. Now, what kind of material is this t-shirt? Is it cotton or is it a cotton blend? So it's it called, stretches? It's called Jersey Knit. Oh, okay. That's why it's stretching so nicely. So if some t-shirts, like the one you looks like you have, like the race t-shirts, they're not quite as stretchy. Oh, Russell. Mm -hmm. Russell. <laughs> He's <laughs> trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh. How can I mess this up if you bend over or like stand up and there you go. You see how that makes that nice little braided look? Exactly. And, it, and you could even go back and then do it again and do another layer if you wanted. Uh -huh. Or another thing, I'm going to undo this because another way of doing it. Well, oh, wait a second. After you finish doing it, how do you um, um, anchor it so it doesn't oh, come apart? Part. I'll, show you, I'll show you that on this one. Because it's the same idea, just with a twist, and then we'll finish it off at the end. Because that's a great question. Sure. So this one, if you take it and you twist it, mm -hmm. and you do the same thing, and you just twist as you go, you get a different look. You're being a very good model. <laughs> oh, that looks really great. Does that look cool? Yeah. Right? And so just so you can see, I'm not going to go all the way down, right? You can see, okay, from there. So I'm going to, what I would do at the end is I would cut this loop. Mm -hmm. 
right because if i just loop it through it's just going to fall out because it's not tied to anything i've given another good stretch and this part i honest to be honest with you grace i haven't figured out how to do it quite um so it looks nice you might some people weave back up and then they have a thing at the top um but then you tie it to another one down at the bottom with one side of the loop on one side and one side on the other And it's at the bottom, so no one can really see it if it's really yeah, low. Yeah, as you can see, it's just like those two little things hanging down. It doesn't look awful. It's just not really finished off. And it looks a little weird here because we did it at the bottom of us. But if that was the bottom of the t-shirt, it would look like that. It right? looks great. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it looks it looks like it took a lot more work than it actually did. Right? Yeah, that's for sure. The, the, the shape that you cut your hole, also, we just did a rectangle you could fold the shirt in half and do like a heart, draw half of a heart. And this opening could be the shape of a heart, you know, or you could do a couple, you could do one here and one here. So there's all sorts of cool things you can do with that. So um, do you want to do one more? Do I want to do one more? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, will you do one more? <laughs> I have one, one other one. Oh, in the t-shirt? Yeah, I just want to show you, I cut this one a little slightly differently. Instead of cutting it wide, I cut it narrow. It might look a little different. I'm surprised this can't go. A little tiny. How did you get into this, um, oh, this is craft? It, it just, I've never seen it. Uh, then again, I'm not handy, so there, there's no reason why I would have seen it. But you know, it, it sounds like it's a it's a great hobby at this point. You know, to oh yeah, it is. Thank you for asking. You know, I actually I just did it when I was a kid. My um, grandfather was um, in the navy, and he used to um, he gave us his, his old flight suits. And my sister and I used to um, I don't know if you remember the movie Pretty in Pink. Did you ever see that? yeah yeah <laughs> so we used to like fix up change up the clothes and you know add lace to them and put belts on the flight suit and then i just <laughs> from there i started stealing my family's clothing and altering it now it's just turned into just how i how i work but, all right yeah so we're going to do this one same thing so but you can see on this one that i, I started see you. Mm -hmm. wide and i went narrow right right so this is going to be a different look and again you can see it's just kind of flat. And if you cut it, if they're not perfectly straight, it's okay because the, the beauty of the stretch, right? It's just so nice. And again, we're in Provincetown, so Ben could get away with wearing it just like this without, <laughs> without lacing it. <laughs> Although something tells me you're not going to. <laughs> right, so that actually, can you hear we'll do this? I actually think that right there you know, that looks kind of cool down at the bottom. You know, if you, you don't cut, have to do anything at that point, it looks pretty. Yeah, I mean, it just looks like you could even do, you know, lots of little tiny ones like that or do it on the sleeve. I don't know, it just looks kind of neat when you pull it. But so we're going to do it again just to see. So remember, take this one over the second one. I'm working sideways. <laughs> you bend over a little. Thanks. A little more. <laughs> it definitely gets harder as we're smaller. Now, how long did it take you to cut all the um the stripe the you know the the strings you know the stripes across? Did it take you a long time to? Not at uh, all. 
the thing for me, and it really depends on your um, sort of how you work your personality was um, um, taking the time to make sure they're straight. Like you can even take a ruler and dry, draw them first. Um, oh, okay. Just cutting them straight. That was the hardest part. But yeah, because your 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 material is stretchy, so as you cut, you have to be really careful that it's straight. Well, actually, the nice thing about the T-shirt is it's very forgiving. So when it pulls, it just sort of roll all rolls together. The edges, if they're not, if they're a little raggedy, it, you can't. Mm -hmm. even. So I'm gonna go all the way down. You might have to stand up here. Yeah. Yeah. That looks really good. I might wear this one. <laughs> small shirt. What's that? Is it small? small? Yeah, and then, so then of course it's smaller, it's harder to tie the little knot, right? Because I have less to work with. Well, can you just use needle and thread and anchor it that way so that it doesn't? Oh, um... that's not a bad idea. Sure. Or you know what I could do is I could cut I mean, another thing I could do, right, is I could cut another piece. Oh, and tie it down, sure. And I could tie it down like that. And then I have whoop, a little tail, which doesn't look terrible. I can work on that. You know, then I have to find, figure out something to do with this. I think um, a lot of the t-shirts that I saw online, they had the neck cut off. And then this all started, like that would be, this wouldn't be here. It would start mm -hmm. like- That's right, that's right. So it looks, it looks better. I was just trying to give some backbone to it. But it looks good, right? I mean, it looks like it's a lot more work than it is. And this, the knots here, you can kind of move. So you can move them Oh, in, excellent, yeah. Right? Or push them out, make them a little more even. So you can stretch it still, ones like this to make it more even, so. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. I hope you won't be offended if I don't wear this all night. No, I will not. Okay. Um, so, Grace, just so, sort of after looking at some of the ideas that we looked at, or um, do you have any ideas about what you want to do with your T-shirt? No, I, I think I never even expected to, you know, make any kind of design on the t-shirt. I thought that we would be taking the t-shirt and totally repurposing it into something else. So my uh, impression was uh, 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 different from what you were presenting. And I like the way you present it better because it, it's a lot less work with a lot more um, variety of, of the look. So I wouldn't really use a t-shirt, a running t-shirt like this. I would probably use, you know, a, a more dressier t-shirt that has that stretch. So um, great idea. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> sure. And there, there's actually, I mean, if you uh, do, you, are you a gardener? Do you plant at all? I, I, I have a garden I'm trying to um, cultivate right now. <laughs> Awesome, because there, there's also, I could send you, um, if you're interested, I have an instructions on how to, you can use the stretch, and even though, even your t-shirt that you have, I can tell it's, it is going to have some stretch, right, it's, it's, it's really similar to this one, this one just looks fancy because it's tie-dyed, but this is just a regular t-shirt, if you want to use the t-shirt and to do something else, you can actually make rope, you know how, like, when you, like, say peel an apple and you try to do it all in one, you know, and you go around, you can cut the t-shirt like that and make a big long rope and then um, macrame and make, um, I've made pot holders. So oh, okay. if you're in, in um, that handout, I can send that to you because that's kind of a fun thing to do. You can even, if you crochet, you can turn it into t-shirt rope and crochet the t-shirt rope. That so. sounds like a lot more work than what you just demonstrated. <laughs> and I think that what you did was just a lot more fun, to be honest with you. <laughs> it is really fun. It's, but you know what, I, 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 would, um, I would wear a second shirt underneath. I'm not yeah. brazen <laughs> enough to like have the bare back, you know. <laughs> but 
it does look good. Well, thank well, you so much. That was you're great. Welcome, Grace. Thanks for joining us. And I'm sorry there weren't more people. That does make it a little more lively, but. No, I would have not said anything. I would have turned off my screen and turned <laughs> off the, you know, the sound. So you wouldn't, you would have had just, you know, whoever else showed up. It was just, so this is great. <laughs> well, I'm glad I got to meet you this way then. Same here. And I'm looking forward to um, looking at the other things that you've recorded I, that I've missed. So, it, you know, I saw that you had a link on the bottom uh, in, in case you missed any of the prior demonstrations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then also um, coming up, we have pockets, which um, for anyone who wears women's clothing knows um, our clothing has awful pockets in it. In fact, I just bought these jeans yesterday and they're jeans. So I didn't think they'd have pockets, but they're actually sewn down, which just feels like such an insult. They're, art, they're decorative. So um, I'm having the, our next workshop is how to um, lengthen your pockets, you know, to make them bigger and also to add pockets on. So if you're interested in that, um, that's coming up. Is it almost as easy as what you just showed me today? It, it, <laughs> it's a little harder. It takes, it takes some sewing, but it's some basic sewing. Um, do you sew at all? Um, I sew, but not very well. But w right. when it comes to pockets, I think they're so important that I would probably take the time out to, uh, you know, to, to make a pocket. I, I just know my mother used to, you know, make little pouches that she sewed inside her her clothes just because there weren't pockets. And, and you're right with the jeans, sometimes they have fake pockets. So you think you bought a pocket and you didn't. And then the other ones are about the, you know, the length of my, you know, pinky or something. <laughs> so you could exactly. put, you can't even put a key in there. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm always like it's a chapstick pocket because that's like pretty much the only thing that's that about been. all it could fit exactly so well, if yeah. you're interested check it out my feelings will be hurt if you don't um show up for it but if you are interested you know that's the next one coming up and it'd be nice to see you and if not it was really great to meet you this no, time I, I probably will show up for that one unless there's a a, a conflict uh, with something else that's going on because uh yeah I love pockets <laughs> <laughs> And I love t-shirts. That's why I showed up today. So thank you so much. Well, thank you, Grace. Have a great evening. Yeah, you too. And you had a great model too. <laughs> I'll let him know. <laughs> Daniel, Have a great week. <laughs> Thanks right. again. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.